Hello, my loves. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope that you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Taurus. Somebody is very, very high ranking when it comes to this magic. Very high ranking. Like it's something they've studied it their whole life. And I feel like maybe you, you could have been married to this person in a past life or this person wants to block you from becoming married. But somebody here, they want you, they want to, at some point they wanted to marry you, okay? This person could have sent someone towards you with an assignment to take you out. That's, that's how serious they are. It's like if this person, if you don't do what they want you to do, then they will spiritually bully you and assassinate you. Yep. All because you rejected them. Empress Ten of Pentacles. This person is heartbroken. They're disappointed. They're upset. They have been retaliating against you. And now God is here to vindicate you. Mm hmm. You may be feeling like you're at your wit's end right now, like things are very difficult, but you're moving. You're going to be able to move forward. I don't know if this could be a, for a divine feminine and a masculine. All of the readings that I've been getting as of lately have for sure been about like a twin flame couple. The readings have been showing both a, a feminine and a masculine, but their energies are mirroring. So the readings, sometimes they seem a little bit chaotic. A lot of them recently have been long, very detailed, lengthy readings. I'm literally channeling both a feminine and a masculine. You both are being attacked. So this has to be something from a past life. However, you have sown, you know, planted good seeds. You sown good seeds, which you will reap the benefits of it. You're going to be free from whatever this is. There is something here um, supernatural that's about to occur that's going to ensure that you're able to get out of whatever this situation is. Whatever these circumstances or conditions are here, there's some kind of drama, jealousy, envy, or whatever this around you. The page of pentacles to me, I just, I'll keep hearing you're going to get a way out. Somebody's going to get a way out of whatever this situation is, but you do need to be mindful that there is indeed a very serious planned attack. I don't, I really don't know exactly, like, obviously somebody is upset because a relationship is not coming together, but this person has a personal vendetta, a grudge against you for a particular reason. Something has happened that has this, this person very, very, very angry with you or someone that you're dealing with. There is something that they were depending on. gaining receiving but it's attached to your energy if they don't have access to your energy then they feel like you're just completely useless um and when it comes to the spiritual upgrades and everything it's like because you have the judgment here with the devil they don't they, i'm hearing blow the whistle they don't want you to blow the horn blow the whistle on what they've been doing so you could be somebody here who has you spoken out about something that this person has done either to you to someone else or in the dark and they feel like now if you're not going to give them your energy so that they can continue to protect themselves then it, they need to get rid of you that's what this is this is a plot to get rid of someone it's like if, if you are not letting this person have their way with you they truly feel like you're not you're of no use and you're actually um, being seen as a threat because of something that you know or something that they think you know page of wands the king of cups the strength card and here's the queen of cups and the ace of cups the nine of cups the six of wands yeah like I said, you're, you're going to be vindicated. You have a very, very strong emotional, psychic connection with somebody here. This connection is, is like off the charts. And that's why somebody is trying to block you. And that makes sense because I did a reading. I haven't posted it yet. And I don't know which one is going to come out first. 
this magic that somebody is doing, they are, um, they're trying very hard to traumatize you over and over. And for some of you, you need to start learning more about spirituality and healing in your journey. And you cannot rely so heavily on tarot. I read tarot, but I study a lot. Okay. Um, if, if you don't know, even with chakras, a lot of people, you only know about the seven main. There's 114 chakras. Okay. People are not attacking just the few that you know about. There's a lot of different things that your, your enemy, your opponent is doing against you in the dark. That most people are not awakened enough to become aware of. The whole point why people are trying so hard to make sure that you don't receive love is because love is going to allow you to get to that that consciousness, that high, high vibration of you becoming awakened and aware and being able to see the tricks of your enemy and their manipulation, the gaslighting and all the things that are being done to keep you oppressed. So there's a lot of binding magic that's happening. But see, these people that are doing this, they're very skilled and crafty. They are binding your chakra, but they are somehow opening up like energetic portals to be able to rob you. So they're keeping you traumatized so that you can't use your own energy while they steal it. So that's why I tell you guys all the time, be very careful about these distractions, okay? Because what these people will do is they will send chaos and conflict to your home, to your vehicle, to your friends, your family. So everything around you feels like it's falling apart. That way you will break down when you get in that very low state. That's when they go in and they start to siphon and harvest all of your energy. They steal all of your blessings. They build their entire life up off of your energy, but you're, you're somewhere sitting in the corner crying about a situation from 10 years ago and you can't explain or understand why. People are doing things to, to traumatize you over and over, to re-traumatize you. And I've been talking a lot about this PTSD. It's, as soon as you think you're over something, something else will come in and hit. A lot of you, it's like it's the same situation that just keeps coming over and over and over. You've probably pillow talked or shared something with a person. They are reopening a wound that allows them to attach to you. If you've been following my channel, I've been talking about this for years. You have to learn the game and you need to understand the art of war. Somebody is battling you. And like I said, there are certain prophecies where the truth is, which I've also been saying, you and another person will not be able to continue to coexist here in this, this realm for much longer. We are officially in eclipse season. If I'm not, I'm recording this reading a few days before the full moon in Aries. We are in Libra season. Okay. We had a partial lunar eclipse back in May. It was a full moon in Scorpio. There is a partial lunar eclipse that's happening, I believe, in the next 30 days. It will be a full moon in Taurus. Okay. So you can see this upside down action. In Taurus season, in May, on May 5th, it was a Friday, there was a Scorpio full moon, which was a partial lunar eclipse. In November, in Scorpio season, there will be a partial lunar eclipse with a full moon in Taurus. Whatever was not cleared out earlier in the year, it has to be removed now. It's either going to be you or them. Whoever this is attacking you, they know that. That's why they have been doing so much to try and bind you. For some of you, these attacks are making you stronger. You're getting stronger in spirit. You, you may be having a difficult time in the physical, but you're getting stronger in spirit. That's the reason why these people, they're studying and they're learning and they're doing so much now. And they're literally there's groups of people that are doing rituals to try and stop you, block you and bind you because of what they fear you knowing. Many of you, you don't really know much about your past life, so you don't know how powerful you are. And I say this all the time, the human mind, human brain, your mind cannot conceptualize a lot of the things that are happening in the spirit. So you don't see it, you don't hear it, you don't recognize it. But you have people who you have met who are very much spiritually advanced. They know everything about you. 
You didn't know to protect yourself around these people. So they've already taken everything from you. They've, they've read your future. They know everything about you. Therefore, they've been cashing out, but on your energy. Their biggest fear is you waking up because as soon as you wake up and you see what they've been doing, your soul is going to become, it's, it's going to activate into assassin mode. You're going to instantly go after them. Your spiritual team, see your spiritual team already knows what these people are doing, but see part of this, this plan, this design is you, st you have to learn for yourself. This lifetime, many of you, you are meant to learn a lesson. You don't get to pass, go and collect $200 until you learn this lesson. Yeah, God, the angels, the ancestors, your spiritual team, they know all about it. But the question is, do you know? So in other words, do you know who you actually are? Do you know why you're really here? I have a reading where I said a lot of you need to learn about your own life blueprint so that you will understand what the plans of your life are because somebody else has your blueprint. They're tapping into your Akashic records and your DNA and they're living your life or they're trying to. For some of you, for years, somebody else has been living your life because they're doing rituals to steal your dreams any of the gifts that you have, your energy. So you haven't been able to use it for yourself. So those of you who are saying, well, you can't find love and finances are always a problem. These burdens are being created by someone else. There are a lot of burdens though that are being dropped for you to receive love. There's a lot of fertility as well, okay? Aries full moon, I think about Aries as um, action. It's also like the energy of the emperor in the tarot deck, that divine masculine energy. So Aries also, that's a lot of, um, well, the emperor, there's a lot of just strong masculine energy. It makes me think of like Mars, a lot of hostility and anger. So some of you, it's like you have true love, structure, discipline, authority, um, power coming towards you but then you also have these people right now who are in the sphere who abuse power that are coming after you so you have the distorted masculine energy and you have the divine masculine energy lately a lot of the readings for me i've seen that stalemate energy you don't know which way to go for some of you the ace of wands there is a new passionate beginning here but you're so wounded or, or someone here they know that there is a passionate beginning Someone is very paranoid and in shock that they're actually in fear and they're trying hard to keep you stuck and bound in this illusion here so that you will feel helpless and hopeless so that it's easier for them to sacrifice you. This is someone that keeps on trying to sacrifice you for for their own personal gain. They need your energy. Yep. And they see you working on this new foundation. They see you working on marriage commitment new business new home car whatever body they see you working very hard on partnerships home you're you're creating you're researching you're developing you're learning you're doing the soul work the introspection so someone here they're, they're shaking at the core by the fact that for one they keep trying to take you out and it's not working and they already know if they don't get you out of here, then that means it has to be them. I feel like somebody honestly has run out of people and things to sacrifice. Their sacrifices are not being accepted. So I don't know if I'm gonna, when I'm going to post this reading. I will post it. But the last reading I did, it was six pentacles that came out. The page of pentacles. I have a tarot deck that has... Um, it's the double major arcana deck. So it has two of each suit, like upright and 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 um like the reverse. And I was using another deck to clarify. All in all, there were six pentacles that came out. And then there was another. I don't know if this has to do there's a particular prophecy that I've I've that has been coming up with um in the book of, of Tobit with Tobias, Sarah, and, and the demon Asmodeus. That has been coming up, but then last night I was getting downloads. Somebody here is using possibly, like I said, like several Orishas. They're using six or seven of these different Orishas, and they are literally trying to wage war on you using these Orishas, I feel. 
but something in a person's bloodline, your DNA, your soul can remember like you've already won some type of battle before. For some of you, the truth is somebody sacrificed you perhaps in a past life. This lifetime, they've been sacrificing you energetically. For some of you, they, they're actually trying to get rid of you physically as well. Okay, spiritually, they've been doing things to tamper with you so that there will be a physical death. But you're, you need to wake up in time enough to see exactly who this is. Because I'm telling you, it's either going to be them or you. You, you. you have to figure out who this is and what it is. I feel like you're covered and protected. Like nobody can take you out of here unless God wants you to leave here. But how long are you going to repeat this cycle? Some of you are really in denial about the fact that somebody that you know, you cared for, that they're doing this to you. And that's why I tell a lot of people, you need to be very careful nowadays with this twin flame thing. Because for some of you, this twin flame situation that you've been in, you've been dealing with a person who was demonic. This person conjures up a lot of different entities and demons. They are invoking the energy of that demon to use it so that they can't hurt you. And I feel that this is a person who for a long time, them just using your energy was enough. But now that you're trying to manifest a life that does not include them at all, they really want to get rid of you. Look at that. Lovers and the star. Somebody here is, they want your path to be gridlocked. They do not want you to move forward because you're going towards your destiny. Your life purpose, your life partner. Somebody, look at the bottom of the deck, the emperor. Somebody does not want you to have your glory day. They do not want you to see this type of happiness. They, they don't want it. It's literally like you have been, when I see the star, it's like your life purpose, hope, faith, renewal healing the lovers this is some type of choice in love a contract matters of the heart your soul purpose soul mission for some of you you're getting the the um emperor here with the son this is the father and son royalty a lot of you 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 have been called to create a a whole new generation some of you what i'm getting right now is it's sort of like you you come from a royal bloodline there's some some kind of royalty within your dna but your family has been hex cursed or or bound in some type of bondage you're coming in this there's an entity or something that has had everything frozen you're gonna be able to unlock whatever and undo whatever this is it's gonna finally be able to free flow um be free flowing. When I said there was 22, 22 on the clock, partnerships, choices, decisions. See, by you slaying whatever this, this demon or entity is, and for some of you, it's in your bloodline, wherever it comes from, it's going to be different for all of you. By you doing that though, literally you're, you're chosen. You, you receive the life partnership, like your soul, Literally, like your God ordained spouse, the business for some of you children, you get everything. But what it's saying though is that you have to sacrifice this this entity, and for a lot of you, this entity is actually a person around you. But they they work with this entity, or they embody the energy of this entity. You're gonna have to let like get somebody out of your life completely. It, it, it's in it's karma in a past life they sacrifice you in this lifetime you have to sacrifice them and that for some of you that's simply just you having boundaries and moving away from something nine of swords four swords of tower somebody is stressed out they can't believe that you healed Somebody here has been doing something to try to bind your spirit because I keep hearing the word resurrect. They're like, how were you resurrected? How, how did you come back? So for some of you, again, I don't know who you were in a past life or whatever, but somebody is shocked. They're like, how, how were you resurrected? How did this happen? And on the spiritual, this, you, you gone through an initiation or, um, 
you just awakened. You you you're you you're who you are in spirit as above so below. And somebody's like, how how did you wake up? How did you wake up? The Ace of Pentacles here. They're like, and they know you woke up <laughs> because this divine intervention here with the the tower. They're being shown that like you're receiving everything. Somebody is looking into your life a lot. This is some heavy, heavy magic. These are very, very, very strong, powerful witches, wizards, warlocks, priests, high priestess. Seven of swords, six of swords. Yeah. The high priestess and the ten of cups. They don't know. There's a hidden path for you. And you just walk right through it. And I don't think you said much about it. Some of you, you know, and it's interesting. I say this um, because a lot of people who watch tarot read tarot as well. And there's a lot of extremely gifted readers who watch me. From one reader to another, like for me, I haven't uploaded the last few days. You have no idea how many people are watching your channel and you're telling them whether or not their spell work is working on you. And I know people say, oh, well, I know I'm protected. But let me tell you about a true assassin. A true assassin, they move alone. They're silent. And they usually don't leave a mess. Don't let that go over your head. Six of Swords, High Priestess, Ten of Cups. Your, like I said, this prophecy of yours, there's parts of it that should be hidden. You should be moving in silence. Because at this point, your enemy needs to be confused. Some of you, your enemy is confused, but the only way you're going to move forward is if you confuse the enemy. The wheel of fortune is here. When they're up, you need to be down. When they're down, you should be up. When they're talking, you should be quiet. You have to learn. Some people are so caught up on being intuitive that they don't understand that when in war, you should actually be doing the counterintuitive, meaning you should stop doing what people expect you to do. See, they expect you to throw a, a, a spell back at them. It's just like when you're arguing with a person, picks an argument with you. They expect you to have a comeback. When you're silent, they don't know what to do. They've already anticipated what you were going to do. You have to stop letting people know everything that you're going to do. Every way that you feel. Stop talking so much. Stop sharing so much. Stop engaging. You got to learn how to confuse people. Have some boundaries. Stand up for yourself for these people. Because look, all of this chaos, conflict, and confusion is to have you in a mental entrapment. And that is when they strike every time. It's a lot going on here in the spirit, too, with these masculines. Like I said, you have a distorted masculine that is really battling this divine masculine. You see this king of wands here, three of wands. This person is waiting. Three of wands is expectation. This king of wands is waiting, I feel, on the perfect time to strike. There could be somebody is walking away or they're going on to a journey. Somebody could be leaving something behind, um, traveling or whatever. Somebody here already has a plan to make sure that they are not, um, that they're not defeated. Yeah, they're taking action because they already know they've gotten a message or a download that something is coming towards them. Yeah, the truth. The truth here is about magic. Magic, magician with the Ten of Swords. Somebody already knows that there is some type of magic that's coming that is supposed to leave them at rock bottom where they will be completely defeated. Somebody here is moving in silence. I don't know if it's a divine feminine, masculine, or both, but somebody is already several steps ahead of someone. This King of Wands is, is looking. They already know that this energy, this Knight of Swords, for me lately, this Knight of Swords has been like my spiritual attack card. Somebody is coming in with haste to attack someone, to force them to try to move away, to move out 
of the way. This could be this distorted masculine. This person keeps sending these spiritual attacks. This king of wands who is a natural born leader. This is someone who takes action. They already know that this is coming. Five of swords. This person is not backing down. Two of wands. This is a choice between two. And somebody here is leaving something behind. They're moving in a different direction. Because you can see the Ace of Swords is here with the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody here, look, the Page of Pentacles. Someone made some kind of offering to get rid of a person to hurt them using some kind of tools or resources that they had or magic. But so they don't know that someone here actually has a sword of truth. Someone is working with like Archangel Michael, Archangel Raphael, and it really feels like somebody out here is truly like a prophet because I just heard very clearly somebody is like a messenger of for god so this person they will not be defeated this is someone who is very obedient and it's interesting because this king of wands speaking of war this king of wands the king of wands is an action oriented person very very passionate this time though this person they're waiting this person is going they're waiting because, see, when you learn to wait on your enemy, like I just posted um, before in the community post on um, my channel, you know, I, it's something this King of Wands is very smart. They're very smart. In war, you should prepare for peace and in peace. Prepare for war. This king of wands, who could be the type of person who could be a hothead, this person, they're waiting. They're not about to just jump up and strike and do anything. No. They're waiting. <laughs> this person, although they could destroy someone, they're not even going to do it. They're going to allow this person to destroy themselves. Because the enemy knows that if the king of wands can see them, it's almost like somebody is really bullying. Like, they're just poking at someone like, ha, ha, ha. I'm attacking you. Come do something about it. But see, what people don't understand when it comes to all this black magic and defense magic, you do understand that a lot of these people, although you may be very powerful, that's good, that's great. A lot of these people, they have an attack even for your return to send in your protection work. They want all of your defenses down. That's why... You know, it pays for you to know how to just give it to God and not keep fussing, fighting, like I said, and being engaged in these situations because sometimes it's not going to serve you. Like it's at this point, it's above you. It's already completely out of your hands. Humans, I mean, you're a multidimensional being, but literally like you're in a battle right now with entities and principalities. These are not people that you're fighting. They're walking around every day like a regular person. These are actual demons that you're fighting. So understanding your power and authority when it comes to you dealing with a spirit is not about you being with the rah-rah and the drama. <laughs> it's a mind thing. The devil dwells in the mind. <sighs> the magician, see? And here, the seven of wands is in the reverse. The magician. Somebody is possibly trying to look nine of swords. Somebody here needs to just give up. They already know this. And then the fool is in the reverse. Somebody knows that they were very foolish. They did something impulsively. It was very, it was piss poor judgment on their call. Somebody took a very big risk i don't know if this person with the fool in the reverse that they thought that you were naive stupid gullible foolish i don't know but somebody here is stressed out they're having a lot of anxiety now for whatever they did and they should the five of pentacles yeah because somebody here is now going to face poverty they're going to be in poverty spiritually emotionally financially having just a lot of bad luck this person is very regretful they're missing a lot of opportunities right now 
very, very stag very stuck in stagnant energy, or that's what's coming in for them. The Ten of Cups in the reverse. This person will not have a happy home life at all. There will be no more security or stability or anything for this person. I just keep hearing the term piss poor. <laughs> so somebody here possibly may lose everything. And that's their karma because they've everything. See, you got to think about it. For a lot of you, what this truly is, is it's a cord cutting. Somebody has been building everything off of your energy because of this cord that they had attached to you and whatever portals they were opening up to your sacral energy. If that portal is closed, and I have reading on this like in the last three months or so, when you shut your own system down, it, like right now, it's like all systems are a go. When you shut everything down, all systems collapse, you are this person's life support. Without you, this is somebody who cannot survive. So you imagine somebody on life support and you, you unplug, when you unplug the machine, that's it. This is somebody who is a soulless, like, being anyway. This person, they don't have a soul. This person is being controlled by an entity. But for them to still do certain things, they need the energy of a light one, a chosen one, a divine feminine or masculine. When you cut that cord, they can't survive. King of Wands here. Somebody is in charge. This King of Wands is this, this person is in charge. They're very loyal, very independent. The Page of Swords is here in the reverse. Three of Wands. You can expect some type of nasty gossip. A very malicious person. You can expect that. I feel like for some of you, this King of Wands, this person already knows with the Three of Three of Wands here, and here's the Two of Cups. They are, somebody already knows that a relationship is going to come with a lot. Ooh, Two of Cups and the Lovers. Wow, and the Wheel of Fortune. Somebody already knows that a relationship it comes with a lot because you and this person, you're the the Lovers and the Two of Cups. You're twin flames. You're divine counterparts. So somebody already know, like somebody's anticipating a heartbreaking situation. They're anticipating it. Three of Wands, the Queen of Wands here. Wow. Judgment. Two of, so let me say this too, but this, this is specific. Somebody is planning to marry a person and they already know that an ex-lover, a friend, a family member is going to go completely insane. Three of Cups in the reverse. They already know. Somebody knows that like there are some people around them that they've left behind that are going to go completely crazy about this. This could be somebody's family. Seriously. Somebody's family may be completely against a union that's about to happen. And this person, they don't care. So this person, they're anticipating this. It's interesting because this King of Wands energy, they're not really saying it. If you're dealing with this person, they're not saying much to you about this. It's almost like they don't want to scare you. Um... I keep I'm keep getting the energy of this distorted masculine and the divine masculine. You have a divine masculine that just knows like, oh, you know, this type of warfare, it comes with the territory because I'm moving towards my divine, you know, partner. But for some of you, you have a person that's in your energy, a distorted masculine. They've done something behind your back that they've never they've never disclosed this to you. And there's a whole lot of malice jealousy envy of even situations that are actually could be harmful to your life because of something that they did but this person was too they were too much of a coward to come and tell you look at that the page of pentacles in the reverse this person there's a lot of bad news somebody is hiding the truth from you about a lot of bad bad news bad decisions Page of Pentacles in the reverse with the Three of Cups in the reverse. Yeah. 
some somebody is not going to be celebrating. If somebody is celebrating now, it won't be lasting long. You have the Emperor here, the Death card, the Empress, and the Nine of Cups. There is the the ending is here. There is something that is in between these two people that keeps on. It's a it's a it's an energy of death. Could be a Scorpio. This person keeps standing in between this energy. It's a person or energy. It keeps standing in between this Empress and this Emperor. And, and, and once you get to the Emperor, it's the Nine of Cups and the Six of Wands. Somebody else is very, very disappointed because they're going to take a loss because they're refusing to learn a lesson. The lesson here is that you cannot control someone's life. Somebody does not want to learn that. And as a result of them constantly trying this, somebody now is going to lose all independence, all like security, stability, their investments, everything that has given this person any kind of resources, especially financial resources. They're going to lose everything. They're going to be forced to move on from this dream of this illusion of making you be very sad. This is someone who is just unawakened. They're completely ruled by ego with the sun in the reverse. The sun in the reverse. This person also could have done something as well to block like a pregnancy for someone. This person has done a lot with someone's um, sacral chakra energy, like your your fertility. It's something here, even like, like I'm seeing like an umbilical cord. You know how like a, a child, obviously, the mother and the child are connected by the umbilical cord. This person has wanted to feed off of you like a child. There is some type of trouble coming in. Six of swords in the reverse. Somebody will not be moving on to any kind of peaceful, calm waters with this. Because, like I said before, you're this person's life support. The cord has been cut. Or this, for some, is even like a parent-child dynamic. Somebody is cutting off a parent or a child. Because the, the king of cups is here. More Scorpio energy. Eight of swords. Somebody has been brainwashing a person constantly about love. So that the person would not move forward because they've been using that person's energy. Wow. Wow. Oh my gosh. Y'all, this for some, this could be a parent or a lover. But that's definitely what this person, this king of cups here. This part of the king of cups is someone who the, the, this king of cups is actually in the upright. The king of cups in the upright is someone who's very emotionally intelligent. Yeah, but a king of cups who was a shapeshifter who's showing up as as the king of cups being emotionally intelligent. This person also could be very scheming like they give bad advice on purpose. This person comes off like they're a good friend. They're very mature. They're emotionally stable. This is somebody, though, who they only care about themselves. This is a narcissist. And what this person has been doing is gaslighting and manipulating you so that you will feel trapped and restricted. Like you're always like hands tied, backed up in a corner. This person wants you to be feel silent and powerless because the Ace of Cups is in the reverse. They don't want you to have any kind of love. This could be if it's like a parent or a lover, this person never offered you any type of like love. So it's abandonment and rejection here and you're moving forward. You're moving forward and there's a passionate new beginning coming in here. So the six of cups, you're going to be able to return back to a state of being normal. So for some of you, it's like you've been under some kind of attack for so long that you probably didn't even know. So what is that? What is that like to be vexed? Let me see what they were. How are you? What the... I heard vexed, hexed, vexed. What does vexed mean? I don't even know what that word means. Sorry. Vexed. I heard you've been vexed for so long that you didn't even know that this wasn't normal. What does that mean? Okay. Vexed is the same as being... It, what it says like it's to be like in dispute. 
you've been annoyed, irritated. Yeah, so you've been traumatized for so long that you didn't know that this wasn't normal. Somebody here has been like annoyed in survival mode, just furious or in this irate like energy for so long that they didn't even realize that that wasn't normal because someone here has been vexed. So somebody has hexed and vexed you. They've done some type of magic on you to make you live in an illusion where you may have been thinking that to live like this, to be in poverty, to be without love, to be rejected, abandoned, um, and to have all this misfortune, that was just the luck of the draw that you had gotten. No. This was something that was done to you. I don't know if for some of you it happened as a child. For some of you, a parent has done this to you or a, a child has done this to their parent. For some, this is like an ex-friend or lover. You've just been having a lot of cycles of bad luck, not understanding why. And maybe you were just thinking like, oh, you know, I'm just being tested by life and you know, perhaps you try to be very calm, cool, collected, and patient, you know, but, and yeah, like God will test us, but there's been a lot here that has been, um, I just heard over, somebody has over engineered, like engineered something in your life. Like it has all been rigged up. This is, this, this has to be some type of like witch or something or a, a real serious like warlock. Somebody has been in the background I'm telling you, they've been rigging up all kinds of stuff. But literally, like, somebody is vexed. They don't realize that they're like a puppet for somebody. This could be you. But when somebody, when you've been traumatized and oppressed, and that's what narcissistic abuse will do, emotional and psychological abuse, you guys, is very serious. You, you will get it, because, like, be in a state where you don't realize that this dangerous, oppressive situation you're in that is not normal. So this is something about a person's environment that is extremely toxic. This is somebody carrying like some kind of serious trauma. Four of Wands. Four of Wands also could be family. But some of you, what you're doing now is Some of you just with the six of cups here, the four of wands, the ace of wands, and the knight of cups. Some of you, if you have like a twin flame connection, a counterpart connection that has been blocked, you're going right into that. It's like literally for some of you, if you haven't met this person yet, you're returning to, it's like returning to your roots. You're going back. So... Okay, how how they're showing, how I'm saying this? You were supposed to go on a certain life path, like soul's journey. You had a pathway, but remember earlier I said it's like a hidden path. You got off of your path somehow, and it, there was orchestrating. You were supposed to because you had a task to get rid of whoever this inner this bad energy is, and you had to learn a lesson. When this is cleared out of your path, you're going to get right back on the path you were supposed to be on. But I feel like everything is going to speed up because you had to go down this journey. Okay. You had to deal with this person or this situation. Look at this to gain courage. Look, the five of wands and the ten of swords. So you had to be bound to some kind of situation. For some of you, this, to be honest, okay, people don't like to hear this, but for some of you, you had to pay this karmic debt back. Until you pay this karmic debt back, your Ace of Pentacles and your Ace of Swords was in the reverse. If this is not you, for some of you, your counterpart, ooh, I'm getting it now. Ooh, okay. For some of you, if this isn't you, your counterpart, they had to pay some type of karmic debt back before they could come towards you with the new for a new beginning and the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Swords is in the reverse. This person, I don't know, they could have done something in a past life. They could have even done something to you in a past life. They had to pay something back. They had to go through a really, really tough time before their karmic debt could be paid and they could actually come towards you. This person is going to come rushing towards you after being in a very long, long cycle of a lot of bad luck. 
But the five of swords is in the reverse. They're coming to you and there's going to be some kind of compromise or communication, like a peaceful resolution. They're not coming towards you to fight. They're actually coming towards you for a serious commitment. But see, somebody possibly in a past life, this entity here has been monitoring this. Because if you and this person never pay your karmic debts, then you can never come back together. See, that's what people don't understand. If you're going to go into like a real divine partnership, you both have to pay your karmic debts. There are lessons that you both must play, like pay before you can come together with the Six of Pentacles. Because the Six of Pentacles means that there's going to be equal give and take between the two of you. Ooh. I'm getting another situation for some of you. I don't know how you and someone met, but I do see the three of pentacles here. I see the queen of pentacles and the queen of cups. This person could have juggled you with somebody else. In a past life, they could have chosen somebody else over you. In this lifetime, they could have juggled you with somebody. So... Okay, this is, it, I'm getting a lot of different like situations here. For some of you in a past life, you and someone were supposed to be together and, and maybe you didn't choose one another. I don't know. This lifetime, it's like you and someone are supposed to choose one another. If this person ever tried to juggle you, they got instant karma for it. And what I really feel is you have one person, for some of you in your life, they chose somebody else. They're going to forever pay karma. Um, they're not. They're really not paying karma for it, I don't feel, because they're, they weren't supposed to be with you anyway. But this could be who's attacking you. They feel like they're receiving karma because you're not with them, but they were, they're not your person. But then for some of you, it's like you're reuniting with a twin flame or like a past life soulmate. But there was still a karmic debt that had to be paid in this lifetime from something that happened in the past life for the two of you to actually now have the Ten of Swords. I said the Ten of, the ten of Pentacles. The Queen of Swords is here in the reverse. In the past or in a past life, Somebody was not very nice to you or you weren't very nice to this person. You know, the way I see karma now for some, some people, and I, always, I like to say this, some people don't like to hear the truth. Some of you, you could be meeting a person now that could actually be your counterpart. You may not have been very nice to them in a past life. And you could be thinking, why do I have to wait on this person you or this person or both of you, you're going to have to forgive yourselves for something that happened in the past. Or both of you, it could have been something that happened between the two of you in the past life or just your past, your past in general. The three of swords is in the reverse. There is some type of pain that must be released for somebody to become spiritually enlightened enough to, yeah, pursue their journey as a high priestess, a truth teller. And there is like, yeah, somebody here has been resisting their change. The tower is in the reverse. Someone, yeah, someone was a knight of wands in the reverse. Very arrogant, reckless, irresponsible. They now are being forced to become the king of pentacles. They now are being forced to give security and stability. The star, it's already written in the stars. It's what they have to do. This person, no matter how long it takes, they it's like they owe you this. So this right here is like I've been talking about, like good karma, bad karma. You have somebody in your life. They want you to have bad karma. But that bad karma is not yours. Or you had to go through this lesson with them because there was your karma. And they're free to go now. But then you have another person that's coming into your life or they're in your life. You feel like it's karmic. It's not karmic as in, it, it's karmic, but they're meant to be in your life. There, it, see, it's a difference in somebody saying, like, oh, well, that's just car everything is karmic. 
Okay, but you have good karma and you have bad karma. You have a situation here where you and a person, you have to pay off a karmic debt, but you also are supposed to be together. You have another person, you have to pay off a karmic debt, and you, you pretty much have to sacrifice them. Like, they cannot be in your life. If you choose to have them in your life, you're going to forfeit your entire, like, future. And I've talked about that. None of these paths are necessarily easy. It's not about easy versus hard. It's about alignment versus misalignment. There's somebody here that you, your, your destiny is aligned with them. Nobody said that the situation, the circumstances and the conditions would be easy. Because there is still some kind of pain. You and for some of you like this twin flame or uh, past life soulmate or whomever, you guys, you still have like a, um, a pain from being separated in a previous lifetime. It's like you and this part, you're, you're still feeling pain of like, how did you leave me or why didn't we come together? And then in this lifetime, you guys, you're reconnecting. But in this lifetime, it's still like stabbing an old wound because you're looking at that person like i can't believe i'm meeting you now after i went through hell with that other person they went through hell with somebody else too and they're like well we could have just like skipped all of this had we met each other but somebody had to go through it because they were very much unawakened and ruled by ego And then again, you still have this entity that's been out here. This entity, though, there is an entity. But you also have one of these masculines. Who has chosen to stay in the dark. That's the one who works with this entity. Hierophant and the um, devil. Somebody here is like a very um, dark like warlock. A Satanist um, and a cultist of some sort. That's what they want to do. There's nothing you can do to make them them come to you, change and reform. They've already chosen their pathway. They still want to be with you though, but they want you to be. It's like you want to go towards a God or Dane spouse, holy matrimony. They want you in bondage with them and the devil. I hope this made sense, you guys. I'm going to I'm going to leave it here. Um, yeah, it's it's just judgment day for the, this this masculine energy. The, the, the distorted masculine is fighting against the divine masculine. And like I said, it's very, very difficult for some of you because you have a past and or a past life with both of these, but only one of them is aligned. In a past life, some of you could have worked in the dark or you could have worked in the light. It's like you have to pick, really you have to pick your, po your poison. Neither one of these situations are easy. It's just in this lifetime, do you want to be with an occultist or do you want to be with like a, a priest? Which one do you want to be with? Because based on your going back to your own roots, I feel like, You've lived as both. You've 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 been in the dark before and you've been in the light before. You have to make a choice now. Which one do you want to which side are you you leaning towards? Because for some of you, what you don't realize is that if you get in a relationship with this dark person, you you then are um submitting to the to the beast that's within them and that they work with. They will absolutely force you to to conform to being dark with them. And they are already using this the energy of this entity to make that very clear to you. They're trying to awaken the beast in you to remind you, hey, Remember when we used to do wicked things together? That's what they're trying to get you to do. And then you have somebody here that's 
that actually you you are awakening this person possibly and the two of you can serve god together